Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead, click on subscribe, and also click on the bell to receive all the updates and, and activities on my channel. And also don't forget to check me out on Instagram. So it's, for today's project, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to install one of these caliber uh, lift, ass, lift assist assemblies for your uh, snowmobile trailer. So what these are for is it essentially uh, helps you to load the trailer. So when you, it's in the uh, tilt position, it will hold it down so you can essentially uh, load the trailer by yourself without using uh, a, a stick or whatever to hold the trailer up and uh, you can do it by yourself so with that being said let's go over to the bench show you what we're going to install and let's get to work all right so within the kit itself you're going to receive the following parts you'll receive the uh the, uh, the lift assembly some sheet metal screws a left and right bracket a nice sticker and uh the, the detailed instructions so the instructions are very specific as far as how this thing needs to be mounted. What we're going to do is we're going to go out to the trailer, follow it to a T, and we'll give an ex a, a explanation of what we're doing. What you want to do is you want to put the tongue of the trailer on the ground. You want to chalk all your wheels, right front and back on both sides. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tilt the trailer so it's in the uh, open position. And what we're going to do is we're going to get underneath the trailer and we're going to measure uh, I believe it's 25 inches from the center line of the pivot point. All right, so we're underneath the trailer And the first measurement you want to make is 25 inches from the pivot point on the trailer, right? So measure out 25 inches and then at 25 inches take the bracket and you're going to temporarily tape it to the uh, the spot on the trailer and then we're going to let it down. Okay, now with the, uh, the trailer back down what you can do is you're gonna make a line from the center line of the, the first bracket at 12 and a quarter inches or 12.25 and you're gonna draw another line and then you're gonna temporarily tape the second bracket to the center line of that mark now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the trailer again and then we're gonna check the distance between the uh, the two plates while they're opened all right so what caliber wants you to do at this point is and this is where you know there's gonna be a lot of adjustment on depending on the architecture and design of the trailer because not all trailers is, are the same as far as the pivot points and everything else so what they want you to do is they want you to essentially achieve a distance between that ball stud and that one and it can be no no less than 19 and a half inches and no greater than 20 inches so essentially you have a half inch of play and what you have to do is because uh, initially when i had it set at, at their baseline at 25 inches the gap was 23 inches uh, so that was too far and what they want you to do is they want you to basically essentially move both of uh, the brackets equally at the same time basically further up on the triangle so the distance shrinks right so just think of it as, as a triangle basically as you're moving one leg they're going that those two sides are going to go closer together and essentially that's all we're doing so just a little bit of geometry so what we ended up with and this is a uh this is you know specific to my trailer we ended up at 17 and 8 versus the 25 original baseline so what we're going to do is we're going to uh take the brackets off we do have to modify them a little bit to fit this trailer and we'll go from there and i'll show you what i mean Okay, so as far as the bracket, what I've had to do is I've had to re-drill two of the uh, the mounting holes because uh, that hole and that one, along with the one in the center, are the original ones from uh, uh, Caliber. But the problem is the bracket is actually wider than the flange of the trailer. So if we use those, they wouldn't hit. So all we tend to do is essentially drill in two additional holes so it'll uh, catch the uh, the uh, the rail of the uh, of the frame so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill in a, a couple of uh, pilot holes and then we're gonna use the fasteners from caliber to uh, mount the bracket
right, so we have the brackets mounted and the uh, lift support installed, all right? So what you can do is, uh, if you're having trouble getting the, uh, the, uh, the bottom bracket lined up because it's too far away, all you have to do is just uh, put your jack underneath the axle and start lifting it up. And what, what that will make the, uh, what will happen is it will drop the, uh, the bracket down and away and then that will make the, uh, the alignment for you easier. And once you're done, just go ahead and put in the, uh, the safety clips to lock the ball onto the, uh, the ball stud and so it doesn't fall off. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of here, we're gonna close it and we're gonna see how we did. Right, so there you go. Pretty simple install. All it takes is a couple hand tools and about an hour of your time, and uh, you'll be able to get it done. So one thing I'm uh, I am going to do is because you know that is a steel assembly, and as everybody knows, if you're trailing, uh, the that is going to be exposed to salt, brine solutions, snow melt, sand, dirt, and crap, and everything else. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm not going to show it on the video, is I'm going to go out and get a can of fluid film. And I'm going to completely saturate that whole assembly to prevent it from getting rusted out and dirty and everything else. All right, so that's pretty much it. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.